All right, here's another example. Um, in this case, I've set the number of allowable prey up to a higher number. There are more nests. Uh, uh, so uh, the number of prey uh, increased rapidly, lots of nests, uh, and they're running out of resources really fast. The predators uh, haven't grown that much yet, uh, and so the chaos here is everyone seeking uh, limited resources that they rather quickly deplete when they uh, focus on a particular resource. Uh, notice the food and water is down to two and three. The manager will keep the number uh, available so uh, it, it won't run out, but uh, there are only a few places that all these mad predator prey can uh, can feed. Um, so we have great exoduses of our migrations as they search for a place to feed or drink. It's really interesting how these packs with this big yellow group up here looking for something to eat and the blue ones looking for something to drink uh, and it is stressing out the system you can see over here i'm only getting uh, in the teens and 20s a frame rate here and that's because i have so many different nav mesh characters all uh, wandering around this world sure where this one will end. We'll let it play and see. Oh, the number of prey is going down uh, as the number of predators increases. Oh, it's back up again. So we're up to 100 predators now, which is, I believe, the maximum number of predators that we can have. Well, I don't see any likelihood that this behavior is going to change at any point. The number of prey is so large and their birth rate is, of course, kind of constant. They're replenishing themselves faster than the limited number of predators can, uh, can eat them. If I had more predators, maybe something different would happen. 
So I think I'll stop this share. You can try this one yourself and see what you get. I'll end recording. Bye.